Well, the world's best places to retire are being ranked, according to International Living. The best bang for your buck is Portugal, followed by Panama, Costa Rica, Mexico, and Colombia, the top countries on the list of the best places to retire. And joining us to discuss is International Living Executive Editor Jennifer Stevens, who joins us via Skype. And Jennifer, your rankings use factors like cost of living, retiree benefits, and health care, among uh, many of them. Uh, but explain why Portugal is number one. Yeah, you know, the, the quality of life in Portugal is really extraordinary today. Um, I think people have this perception that it costs a lot to live in Europe because maybe they go on vacation there and they think that it's going to be really expensive to live there. But it's surprisingly affordable when you live like a local. So Portugal wins because it offers not only great sun, great value in terms of the cost of living. Mm -hmm. It offers beaches, it offers mountains, it offers rivers. Um, and what our correspondent there really talks about most enthusiastically is the friendliness and the welcoming and sort of genteel nature of the people there. She always speaks about how wonderfully um, gentle and slow paced and comfortable life there is. Yeah. And it's easy. And that's I've, one of the reasons it went. Yeah, I have never been there. Pauline, I know that you were saying yes. you were just there six weeks ago, so there, we'll get your take on it too. But I just want to I want to make sure before we dig deeper into this list that the U.S. was exempt from being on this list, right? Or, or was it excluded because it didn't make the list? Well, we don't, because our readers are mostly in the U.S. Got and we're looking for places to go abroad, we don't consider the U.S. Got it, but good. we're seeing more and more and more Americans looking at their options overseas because, not just because of the value for dollar, which is really good in all of the places, all 24 places that we rank, um, but in addition, it just, it offers people adventure, it offers them um, a new way to retire, it offers People, people go abroad for all kinds of reasons. You yeah. know, some of them are going part time and they're looking to have warm weather all year. And you can do that if you spend half the year in Mexico, say, or half the year in Portugal or any of the places on our ranking, in fact. All right, so they didn't get snubbed, just had to clarify. <laughs> Jennifer, it's Heidi yeah, no. here. <laughs> uh, quick question. So I was pretty surprised by, by the number of Central American and South American countries actually on that list. Now, is that new for this year or how does that sort of stack up to the previous years? No, that's pretty typical. Americans particularly a lot, often don't want to be that far from home. And so when you're in Latin America, you're pretty close. You're in more or less the same time zone as your, your home country, you know, and it's easy to get in and out. And of course, also there's that value for dollars. So, you know, if you're worried about how you will be able to afford a long retirement in the United States, you might look to some place like Latin America, like Panama, for example, which has you know really good infrastructure. It has excellent hospitals, good health care. There's a Johns Hopkins affiliated hospital in Panama City, and you know you can rent a place with a view of the water for you know fifteen hundred dollars or less a month in the city. And then if you want to be out on the beach, mm -hmm. even less than that. So I mean, you you can live the kind of lifestyle that you might not be able to afford in the U.S., but you can afford quite comfortably in another country. And we kind of rank them, rate those countries, helping people compare them one against the other just to get a sense for where they might want to go. How much does crime pay, uh, factor into the decision? Uh, because especially when I see Mexico City, Colombia, they're not light on crime. Well, you know, we are recommending not every single place in every country. And so just the way we wouldn't say, hey, you should go and retire, you know, uh, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to snub a particular <laughs> Be careful. place in the U.S. I'm Be careful here. <laughs> yeah. There's lots of places in your hometown where you might not go, and that's true all over the world. There are places you wouldn't go. Um, we kind of use the, I use, I always use the measure. Would I send my parents there? You know, and if I would, then I think I could save. Yeah, for sure. Are, are, and statistically, frankly, lots of places are safer than the United States. Yeah, maybe we just don't need to, we, we, you know, maybe we'll just leave it there. We don't need to list them because you don't want to don't want to lose viewership here. But Jennifer <laughs> Stevens, thank you so much for breaking that down. Appreciate you bringing us the list. Thanks again for joining us. And our thanks as well to Pauline Brown for being here for the full hour. Thank you. Thank and Heidi you. Chung as well. Happy New Year, guys. Great first Happy show. Happy New Year. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.